Jesus. No, give that to me. Why can't I look at what I just did? Because I say so. What? Jesus Christ! Divorce members? Give that back to me. Chuck, you want to divorce me? You truth me. That's the truth that you want. It's not going to happen. It's going to happen over my dead body. You hear me? Give that back to me. I Make use of her hands, but she cannot make use of her legs. Let's hope it is a temporary situation. <laughs> that means my daughter is crippled. Madam, I wouldn't put it that way. If the sword in her spine reduces fast enough, you see, she will walk again. But if it doesn't, she might not. <laughs> of temptation is this. <laughs> okay, doctor. Is there nothing we can do to reverse the situation? Yes. We have done our best. <sighs> Let us hope that the swelling in her spines reduce faster. Then she will have some measure of feelings in her lips. Please, Tell you that if you don't come to the house this weekend, she personally come here herself and go to your home. You mean you drove all the way down here just to tell me that? Yep. And in my new car is outside. <laughs> you are spoiled beyond redemption. You know that. And then tell mom to leave you. Oh, really? Yes, really. Okay. Fantastic then. Or is the blind type of your mind? Now stand with what's spoken of the time. Think of still like still. Like the blind side. Don't have your trouble. Like playing. That's all they do. Oh. Jeez. 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 So how are you feeling? Melody, where are you? You go in and rest now. Hmm? Go in. Come on. Come on, what's up? Come on. Hi. 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 Hi
What possessed you, Derika? What devil pushed you? Oh, this is not the time. Eh? When is the time? Huh? For one week, we have been on the edge because of your stupidity. I, I don't understand. What's upsetting you? Oh, you are asking me. You don't know what you did, eh? You see? Joshua said it. That you were drunk that night. How will you remember? Wait, wait, wait. Drunk? Me? I've never been drunk all my life. What are you talking about? If you weren't drunk, you wouldn't have packed your things and tried to leave your husband. Pack your things and go where? What's going on? I don't understand. The magic can wait. Wait, do you mind just giving me an explanation of what this is? I mean, what was all that for? What's going on? Just as the wind dances in my hair On the ocean, her side is my girl Is the driver back? No, sir. He went somewhere. One minute. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to him soon. Um, I need to make a quick dash to my house, please. Okay. Is your wife okay? Yeah, she just got out. That's okay. Um, I'll be back before you close the door. Okay, so what about the new contract stuff? Oh, yes, I'll turn to that when I get back. Okay. Renny, I just want to say thank you. You know, your attitude to work. I really didn't know what I would have done around you. Secondly, I'm thank you for the surprise party. That was very thoughtful of you. I don't remember the last time I was celebrating. Thank you, I appreciate it. So, sir, you don't have to thank me. I did all that for you, and I'm still going to draw. Thank you. Awesome. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Stand with what's spoken over time. Pain cuts down like spilling. Hi. Yeah, hi, mom. I'm fine. Hey. Yes. Yeah, mom. Robert said I should tell you. Leave me alone. Yes. I right, hold on. Hello, Mom. Oh, of course not. I, I couldn't have said that, Mom. Mom. Uh, uh, look, Mom, I am very busy. Uh, okay, okay, fine. I'll see you before the end. Okay? All right. Mom keeps barking me. It's always the same thing. Marriage and me for the magic. Right. But seriously, how do you find fun working in a nut house? That's insane. All right. I think I've had enough of you for one day. So, get your overpampered self out of my house. Anyway. I think mom's trying to hook you and see what Can you just go? Love you! I know. Just love you. Thank you. I just said I love you! Okay. Go! Bye! Yes. She said we both got into an argument because you were drinking. And the next thing you did was park yourself. 
He was only trying to stop you, but you were running away from him. And that is when you fell down the steps. He's lying. Please, calm down. How can you tell me to calm down when my own husband comes to my home and beat my parents and lies? For Christ's sake, he is the one who wanted to divorce. He tried to cheat me into signing with the divorce papers, and when I refused, Now she's out of the hospital. She can't go back home because she needs care. Yes, um, I've been thinking about that. Um, I'm making arrangements to get a maid, you know, to help out with the house chores and also help out with the children. Okay, that's fine. But I was going to suggest that they stay here for a while with us, at least until she gets stronger. Oh, great, great. Oh, that would be such a relief for me. It will also give me ample time to get a very good man. God will punish you, Joshua. God will punish you for everything you have done to me. My God will continue to punish you, Teresa. He put me in this wheelchair. He put me in this condition. And now, leave me alone. He's he sitting down there, acting like a loving and carrying hands and that is mad. Calm down, Teresa. Shut up! Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, okay? You did this to me. You put me down last day. Jesus, wait. There is that. What has gotten into you? Mama, Mama, you put me in this condition. You pushed me down that stairs. What can you say? You coward. I said, enough. Enough of that, Teresa. You can't speak to your husband in that way in front of us and your children. What is wrong with you? It's okay, Mom. It's okay. I'm sure the stress of the whole ordeal is getting to her. She probably needs to get somewhere. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for her. No, it's okay, Please. Mom. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's not easy for her, too, you know, learning that you will not be able to walk again after an accident. I've been a product of pain. Can't tell me like so Show me that. Uh. Oh. 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 Oh
was doing to me. And you would tell me to persevere and be strong. How could you walk in here and say lies against me? And you believe him over me? Because you've threatened to leave him several times. I used to beg you to stay. You finally attempted to leave. I did not. But see where it has landed you. Did not. On a wheelchair. I didn't try to leave him. He pushed me down the stairs. Teresa. Teresa. You put everybody in this way. You don't know whether you walk again. Yet you keep on making these accusations against everybody. You've been threatening to leave Joshua because he treats you bad. Hmm? Now you have your wish. I hope you are happy. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. It's not happening to me. This cannot be happening to me. I am not mad. I cannot not what I saw. I remember I I I I I I I Just as the wind dances in my hair On the ocean her is my thoughts And as the sun folds me in Hey Robert Rob, mom's here Listen down here and listen to you for 
10 minutes, then I'll go back to bed. You see, if you had agreed to walk in your father's home, you wouldn't be looking this tired. No, I put it in 11 straight hours in the hospital, right? Oh, I feel a mind brain coming. Okay, okay. Let me go straight to it. Siwa is in town. I have invited her and her parents over to the house. Yes, this Saturday. And you have to be there. Oh, you gave me a word. You said you will not match me anymore, right? You, you gave me no choice. You refused to get a girlfriend. You, your mom would permit you to even set your work. So I'm trying to bridge in the gap and then I'll help you out. Well, Tiwa is my friend, all right? If we can work things out, we'll match me. Oh, she likes you and I know you like her a lot, don't you? To me last night. <laughs> <laughs> Who can't complain? So, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Depends on you. I'm at your service. Aren't you supposed to go see your wife today? Okay, but there is nothing I'm supposed to do. Okay? If she's with her parents, let them take care of her. But they wouldn't allow one family member to see her. So did I. The doctor said the same thing. It's unfortunate. 
Ah, so I don't know what to say. You see this life we are. This life is so, so unfair. Are you telling me? My dear friend Tess is sitting in a wheelchair. But her so-called husband is here gallivanting with another woman. <laughs> Too bad. Ah, this guy. Yes. Are you coming to the office early enough tomorrow? He has been busy at work. And you believed him? What was I thinking? Listen. If you know you want to keep what is left of your marriage, you better start acting right. You know you can't stay here forever. You know that! Love at last. Oh, I'll shine. So I am burdened to you. Yes! You can't stay here forever. You know that. What is it? What is it? Why are you shouting? Ask her. I have told you before. Leave this girl alone. Leave her what? Alone! Okay! I have left her. Somebody. Yes, Ronnie. Really. I thought you said you responded to the inquiry that Martina sent in. I did. I did. Well, I just got a mail from him saying that he hasn't received any questions. What I did as instructed. Okay, please do it again. This time around, copy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Baby. You know, this is official. Hmm? Okay, you have to understand sometimes I have to be stand. Okay? I understand. I know you're upset. Come on, stop. Come here. Come here, baby. Celebrating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. 
meaning me, and you say, uh, yeah, that's what you're thinking. <laughs> oh my god, you're kidding, right? No, I'm not. When did you find out? Today, I went to see Dr. Ruben during lunch. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Congrats! Oh! Now we should celebrate. Yeah. And I know just how to celebrate this year, but look at that. Okay. Wow. Mm? Me, me. Are you sure? You're not kidding me, baby. You sure? You sure, baby? So there's something in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're my daughter. I love you. <laughs> I love you. What about her friend? Her color of What do you think? That's a boy. That's a boy? Why do you want two boys? Hmm? Boy, girl? Just a boy. Okay, I can do it with that. <laughs> Speaking with you. Mama, Mama. Mama, I know, I know, I know. I know you're still upset I missed your dinner. I'm so sorry. I had an emergency at the hospital. Look, Robert, you really embarrassed me. Otumba, his wife, his lovely daughter Tiwa, we're expecting you. How could you do that? No, I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault. One of my patients regressed, so I had to be called in. You see? That's why I said you should quit. You refuse. I, I, I wonder what you see in that hospital job of yours. How, how much are they paying you? They're not paying you much. After all, your father has given you everything one can ask of. A big mansion, you have cars, you have money. You, you are a millionaire. Uh -huh. Mother, in case you have forgotten, I studied psychology. That makes me a psychologist. Mom, I love what I do. But it's, it's not letting you live your own life. I mean, you, 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 I want you to settle down, get married, have kids. I want grandchildren, Robert. Mom, I think I have a thing. Ah, shut up, shut up. Well, seems Robert needs a dinner. Then he can actually take Tiwa out and make up for it. Think. Oh, brilliant. That's why, girl, trust you. When it comes to matters like this, mm, trust my girl. Yes, I, I think so too. Robert, you will take Tiwa out maybe for dinner or lunch or whatever. You owe me that. Huh? Oh. Fine. How are you feeling now? Well, I'm in a wheelchair. I'm just going to be living for the rest of the world. Come on, Tess. Don't sound so defeated. Don't you believe God can work a miracle? Don't you dare. Tell me about God. Where was God when I was pushed down the stairs? By Joshua. No, Tess. Please don't talk that way. That's blasphemy and you know it. Come on, Tess. Everything will be fine. Just take it easy, please. Yes. I am telling you that Joshua pushed me Joshua pushed me down the stairs. He tried to trick me into signing the boss papers. When I told it, he beat me up and pushed me down the stairs, but no one would believe me. Come on, it's okay. I think you're alive and well. That's the most important thing, my friends. Take care of it, please. I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. Wait, please, okay? I promise you, be patient and let me have the reset. That was before I found out that I was pregnant. Please. No, no. 
The next thing you say now is that you can't live under the private country. And if you do that, I will abort this pregnancy and leave the country. How can you say that? How can you say you will abort our baby? You had better sort this out on time because I don't want my baby to be born illegitimately. Look, I'm going to have babies. I promise you, trust me. Look, I'm going to have your rights this evening, okay? I will start dropping the hands, okay? It will be like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stand with what's spoken all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my son. 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 So, how is work? Well, work is fine. <laughs> we thank God. We really, we really can't complain. How is my wife? My wife is doing fine. Okay. She's all right. I'm oh, great. <laughs> great. Um, I have a friend who helps people get meat. Okay. I will call her tomorrow. Oh, great, great. Ah, I really love that. I really love that. Ah, because having to eat out all the time, oh, it's really costing me a lot of money. <laughs> it, it, it is like being a bachelor again. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. That's not fun at all. That's not fun. Hopefully, she will get, help you get to meet by next week. Okay. okay. So you can take your family home. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Ah, it's just that uh, I would like... Um, if she's able to get us a maid by next week, um, they probably still have to stay here just uh, to give me time to clear up my table and walk. Yes. It's okay. There's no problem. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. My darlings. How are you? <laughs> okay, don't worry. We'll go home soon, okay? Daddy will come and take you. Masterpiece of credible fantasy. The political juggernauts and their dictations are all bust, bowed at <laughs> I have just come to experience a strange mechanism of legal torture and judicial slaughter. For a man who has just been salvaged, from the shackles of social deprivation. Well, 
I think they're all mad. Out of desperation, out of frustration, I am not safe. Uh, I've just gone through your daughter's file. Her case is desperate. She's going through severe emotional instability and depression, but that can be taken care of. She... Doctor, are you sure she's not going mad? Uh, mad is, is a strong word. We prefer to use the term unstable. Yeah, she's passing through what we call psychological trauma. It's normal for anyone who has been through a kind of accident. Will she be okay? Um, uh, she will be fine. She will. We'll keep her here for quite a while for observation and proper medical surveillance to be sure she doesn't degenerate into manic depression. Okay. For how long? Say, six to eight weeks. <gasps> but if she improves before then, we will definitely discharge her. Oh, take it easy, ma'am. She will be fine. I can assure you that. Uh, it's, it's all right, doctor. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sir. God bless you. Bless you. <laughs> just, just, just imagine that. She attacked me because she's mad. She's a loony. She's gone. She's gone bonkers. <laughs> Don't mind her. Well, she, she blames me for everything now. She's frustrated. She's frustrated. She's lucky. She's very lucky. In fact, this marriage is over. I'm sure her parents know that we'll be stupid enough to take her back. psychologist. I'm going to talk to you about what happened a few days ago. Alright. I'm sorry. But I want us to talk about what happened that evening. Why you stabbed your husband. Yeah. Seven years of my life, I give to that past. So beautiful, children. What did he do to He pushed down the stairs. But from what I was told, you fell down. What you were told? Is that what I what you're going to listen? No, no, you listen to me. Is that what you're going to take on what I tell you? It happened to me. It happened to me. All right, all right, all right. I'll listen to you, okay? But you have to calm down first. Don't you tell me to calm down. I hate anybody who tells me to calm the hell down. It happened to me. You hear me? This point will have to give you something to calm your nerves down, all right? But, but they won't hurt, right? Trust me, you just be. You'll be fine. Okay. Don't give me this crazy talks. I'm not crazy. You, 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 you just have to listen to me. I am not crazy. Okay. Don't oh, give me no. My in laws, you know why I am here. 
Joshua's mother is not feeling too well. We know. And uh, we regret uh, Joshua's mother's illness. But as it is, why don't you take something? The house help is bringing it. And uh, then we can talk. But as I said earlier, I will decline anything for now. My know has come here with a grudge. Gladys. Gladys, please. We are listening to her. Uh, well, I don't want to go into details of what happened between your daughter and our son. But our son has told us that he is no longer interested in marriage. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Ah, Joshua. Just like that. Just like that. Look at me. Look at what she did to me. She wants to kill me. Okay, what if I take her back and then she wakes up in the middle of the night and decides to stab me to death? It hasn't come to that now. Let me do the talking, Joshua. Hi. Um, Joshua here will take care of the children's upkeep and pay their school fees. Love a boy, Love a boy. Listen, to me. listen to me I've got a question for you Are you a Hersey or a boyfriend? I wanna know Do you know that the constructors of this wheelchair are symbolic of man's dynamism and eschatological mala propism? Please leave me, get out of here I can see you are not infected in man's interloity I said, get away from me, you crazy fool! Leave me alone! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Bastard! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of you Get out of here! Get out of here! Hi, Teresa. I'm going to have another session with you tomorrow. And I would really like you to cooperate. Because the sooner you do that, the sooner you get to leave here. And of course, you get to see your kids. Don't you ever. Don't you dare mention my kids. Well, at this point, they should be important to you. Don't just think about yourself. Think about your kids as well. All right. Uh, why don't we talk about something a little different? Tell me about your childhood. Theresa. Mm -hmm. Theresa. All right, if you won't talk about your childhood, I'll talk about mine. Only my parents call me the reason. All right, what do I call you then? Mrs. Zigby. Fine. Mrs. Zigby. I see we are getting to understand it. So, will you tell me about your child? Born with a blind tag in the mind Now stand with what's spoken of the time Pain cast down like spilting Blind in my mind's eye To reality Using to cooperate. 
she refuses to speak during sessions. She 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 won't take her drugs. She fights and screams. Ah, she's a bit difficult. I can't. I can't. Do, do you think she will get better at this rate? Oh, uh, uh, well, yes, yes, she would. But I uh, will keep her here for longer than I am. God, she will be fine. Hello, my little baby. <laughs> baby girl, how are you? Mm. How was school today? Fine. Mama. My dear, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go in and change, yeah? Go in and change. I'm coming in to give you your lunch. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Mm. Mama, what is it? It's your sister. Your sister has come again. She seems to be getting worse. The doctor said that she refuses to take her drugs and compete with the doctors and nurses. Can you imagine? See what is the reason is putting me through. What is wrong with us, eh? Does she want to stay there forever? God forbid. It's not my daughter. I have to go and see her tomorrow, eh? I need to stop and talk some sense into her. Eh? Good. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready. I've been calling you, baby. Hi. Hi. Sweetheart, you shouldn't be drinking alcohol. It's bad for the baby. Baby, it's okay. It's good for morning sickness. Says who? Dr. Ruben. Um, I should have saw him when I went from Antinato. Dr. Ruben said that? Yeah, he did. He said it's okay. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Baby, he said so. No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not convinced, okay? Why? Yeah, I don't like it. I'm not comfortable. You shouldn't drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. Not with the baby, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Hey, guess what? I finally told my uncle about us. Really? Well, I told him that I met someone that I really, really care about, and I want to marry her. And what did you say? Well, he said that it was too early to bring someone into the house. You know, I mean, especially as Tess is crippled now and she's on a wheelchair. And besides, we need to get through with the divorce. <laughs> See, the baby will be born before this year runs out. 
How long do I have to wait? You know, sweetheart, okay? I know, but we need to tread softly. Joshua, see, I'm actually sick and tired of your excuses, okay? It's either you get married to me before this baby is born, or I'll leave. The choice is yours to make, okay? Come on, Renny, don't be like that. Come on, Renny. to pop in and see before I leave. Okay. Oh, that's very nice of you. Uh, oh, forgive me, I've not been able to come see you. I've been caught up with work and time just zooms by. I'm sorry. Uh, can I get you something to drink? Um, brandy, wine, if you have some. Are you kidding me? Of course I have brandy. <laughs> That's all I can manage. So this is unannounced visit. So why can't you go upstairs, have a shower, then you make the noodles? Thank you. 
Thank you. I should be going. But I will come back to check if you're resting or you're sleeping or not. I won't sleep too. I'll rest. And thank you all today.
He should have called me before he came. I mean, what if I wasn't home? Sit. I need to talk to you. So, what's the problem? I know you've been very busy, but the children really need to see you. Especially now that my sister isn't alone. Mara cries every night asking after me. I know. And you know, I promised your mom I was going to come pick them up by the weekend, you know, but I've been so tired. Of, I've been so tired. Of. You know, I had to skip work for several days. I mean, what your sister did to me. I know. And I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, I still have, you know, a lot of work to do. There's a whole lot of backlog to do. But I promise. Next weekend, I'll come pick them up. Okay. Yalin! Sugar! Is this the cake you were supposed to call? Um, I was, was going to get it, actually. Um. Mm. Oh, Yalin! Yeah. Yeah. I better leave now. Um, okay, that's alright. I promise I'll see you when, you know, next weekend, okay? okay. I'll come pick them up. Okay, it's uh, my dad's serving for you, okay? No problem. That's, and what did she want? Um, that's um, Lizzie, you know, Tess' sister. Oh, I see. I guess it's money she came for. Well, not really. She actually came because of the children. I hope she's not suggesting we come back here. You want the children? They can come here if they want. Huh? I'm not going to feel comfortable with them around. Why not? Most just going to feel comfortable. Abba, at least not in my condition. You can't go and visit them for now, but they can't come here. Renny. Renny. Come on, baby, don't feel like that. <clears throat> or take her meds. We try to clean her up, but she gets really vicious. There's a limit to sedatives. We can miss her to her. Oh, Jesus. Why would anyone call me? Let's get fast. something for that. And you, you have a fever as well. You also need to take in more fluid. Seems like it's gonna be a good night. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you are singing as well. My toes is moving. I feel something. My toes, what does it mean? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I can feel it now. <sighs> what does that mean? Is, is that a good sign? Yes, it's, it's... Okay, so tell me, what does it mean? It means a lot. What does it mean? Tell me, please. It means that you are not going to be confined to the wheelchair all your life. Oh you mean that I will actually be able to walk again someday? Is that what it means? This is the best news ever. That's a game of a game. Reality I bring comes crashing like a train. Thanks a lot. Aren't you eating now? Um, nah, I had something before you came in. But I'll put the food in the refrigerator. Okay, but make sure you eat this food. Because I made it myself. I will. Well, so when are you announcing your engagement? Huh? What engagement? Oh, Mama, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, what I was told that you and Tiwa are hitting it well like a house on fire. Uh, Tiwa and I are friends. Good friends. That's not what I heard. Mom. <sighs> no, all right. Mom, Tiwa is really a nice person. Okay, but I can settle down with her. What? What? Why? What, 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 what do you mean by that? I mean, Tiwa, she, she's a nice girl from a very good family, uh, well read, and uh, she's beautiful. Well, I don't love her. I don't love her. End of story. What do you mean by you don't love her? Mom, please. I need to go get dressed for work, right? I'm running late. Oh, but mind you, this discussion is not over yet. All right. Fine. Mom, I love you. You know I love you, right? I love you very, very, very much. Thank please you. Please well, thank stay you. out of my private life. Good. But, but we continue with this discussion very soon. Very soon. Okay. Good. So what are you waiting for? Oh. Hello there. Hey, Doctor Nika Johnson. Hi, Mrs. Edwin. Mm. How are you today? I'm fine. Well, I just wanted to check up on you, see how you're doing. I'm fine. All right, since I've established that, uh, I have to run. I have a couple of sessions, so let me get to it. Okay. All right. Uh, Dr. Micah Johnson? Yes. I'm just asking. When do I get to leave here? Until the resident psychologist gives you the all clear. Can you please get him to do that? Why not? Because I am the resident psychologist. And I haven't given you the all clear signal. But doctor, I am fine. Yes, you are fine, physically, but emotionally, I can say. Doctor, I can tell you that emotionally, I am fine. I swear it. I'm fine. Huh? Really? You stabbed your husband. You acted violently. You are antagonistic to your family and kids and are. The best part of it, you try to kill yourself. Dr. 
aptallığı. I am not proud of all of them. But I promise you that I am fine. I am better. I just want to go home. I want to start my life anew. It would never happen again. Tell you what, I'll show them a couple of sessions with you within a span of two weeks. If you impress me with your mental progress, I'll personally sign your release papers. Deal? Deal. Deal? Yeah. Alright. Two weeks. Alright. Thank you. Again, reality I bring comes crashing like a train. Love at last, oh, I shine. I've been a product of pain, came to me like so vain. The promises you made so vague. Never want to doubt your love, but love it all down. When a world like Kuroni let me becomes Joko si let me, oh, Mimi Lara. Sons to me, Lara, baby, can't you see? I will buy if any more chair. When you smile, you give me light. When you speak, you give me life. When you leave, you give me joy. Out of the circle of time to the circle of joy. I hope to say no begin. That you wanna play me. If I say yes, say oh me, say me, let's say. How are you? That's all around me. The project keeping me a whole day, I tire and won't go home. All right, all right. Sorry, I'm asking after Dr. Michael Johnson. Okay, I am Dr. Michael Johnson. What, you? You, you, you were expecting someone older. Actually, I, I was. <laughs> it's all right. I get that all the time. So how may I help you? Um, Lizzie Gerigo. We got a call from the hospital that a member of the family was um, wounded. Okay. Uh, Seriza Egbe is my sister. She's a patient. Here. Oh, oh, really? Sorry about that. You're welcome. Okay. Sorry, please. So how is my sister doing? Yeah, she is fine. She's okay. okay. Actually, she will be discharged tomorrow. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah. And that is why I called you. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, during my sessions with her, she kept on insisting that her husband pushed her down the stairs. That's what she kept saying. You believe her? Honestly, I don't know what to do. You know, I actually believe her. Yes. I believe that someone pushed her down the stairs. My husband? Obviously. You see, I've been in this profession for quite a while. I know when someone is telling the truth or just speaking from imagination. I believe she was. But it's alright. We are so happy, causing chaos and adding more grey hair to our dyed hair. <laughs> Saves our rights. <laughs> uh. 
Do they miss me? Yes. And the children? They miss you very much. Especially now that Joshua doesn't even come to see them. But Maria prays for you every night. I'm so happy they don't hate me. They can't hurt you. They definitely can't. Yeah, they were just surprised about everything that happened. They cannot hurt you, Tess. Tess. I believe you. Yes. You do? Yes. I believe that Joshua pushed you down. I know you might not be able to prove it, and I might not be able to prove it to But everything inside me tells me that Joshua pushed you down. And I'm going to stand by you in whatever decision you want to take against him. Thank you. This, this means a whole lot to me. Thank you very much. Thank you. I bet you decide to go home tomorrow, right? No, that's not the answer I was expecting. I don't think I'm ready to go home. This is my parents' criticism, especially my mother. Tess, don't let anyone into your head, or you may face another psychological meltdown. But going back to live with the same people who think that I am the architect of my problems. What difference does it make? It doesn't make it any better. Um, you know, you, you could come stay with me. Yes. I, I live in a big house, all alone. You could stay in the guest room. Okay. Your, your kids can stay as well. No. Possibly, that's not possible. I couldn't possibly. Why would I want to impose myself? You are not imposing yourself on me. I am offering. I could never stay with him. No. I could never stay with him. What will people say? What will. You shouldn't care about what people say. Right? I'm fine with it. As long as you're okay with it. No, I, I, I am not. Okay. Doctor, thank you for offering. I mean, you're the nicest person I've seen, but I can't live with you. All right. Okay, so, um, Doc, yeah. I actually talked to my sister and actually convinced her to put up with you, at least for now, till she gets better. Okay, fine. But, um, just something you must also understand. She's um, still married to Joshua. Of course I know that. Hey, look, I'm not trying to take advantage of her, all right? I'm only lending a helping hand. And also, it's important for me to observe her for a while and to be sure there will be no relapse. Once I'm certain she's fine, that's it. You guys can take it from there. Okay, thanks. So, thank you. That's all right. Comes crashing like a train. Love at last. Oh, I'm shining. I've been a product of pain. Came to me like so vain. The promises you made so vague. Never want to doubt your love. But love it all down. When a walk like Kuroni let me becomes Joko si let me. Oh, me Milara turns to Milara. Baby, can't you see? I will buy it any more day. When you smile, you give me light. When you speak, you give me
supposed to be at Bean's house. Are you sure you are just a psychiatrist? I don't see how you can afford all of this luxury with your salary. Well, this is a big fool with my salary. I have all the sources of it. Right? My name is Robert Baker Johnson. My father is Chief General Baker Johnson. Is it a same Chief Baker Johnson? The old Russian things. I understand he has just one son. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna need this one and that okay. one also. Yeah. All right. Um, it's not like I'm doubting you. Yeah. It's your field, but I think why well, don't we take. Yes, and uh, put it here. Yeah. <laughs> like you. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I uh, actually thought it was Lizzie. Oh, no, it's alright. It's not Lizzie. This is Dr. Adrian. Hello. Hi. Yes. I've heard so much about you. You're beautiful. Wow. Hmm. And that's my girl. Dr. Evelyn Issa is my good friend, a physiotherapist. She is here to help you learn how to use your legs again. Yeah, that's right, okay? And trust me, you're going to be fine. You're going to walk again, okay? Uh, okay, uh, uh, are you not going to work today? Me? Nah. Today is my day off, so I'm just going to go see my mom. All right, I'll leave you ladies to get to it. And hey, don't worry, you are in safe hands. Right. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. All right, um, like I was saying, we're going to work again, okay? We're going to have to do some examination on you. After that, we're going to we're gonna take it from there, okay? Um, we're gonna... but, but, I mean, I, I, I don't know, it's... Um... Don't worry, come on, don't worry, it's going to work, okay? Just believe, all right? You know, you're such a big shit. I just hate <laughs> playing games with you. <laughs> you're a sound loser. Big two. <laughs> you know what? I'm not playing a game. Huh? What is it? You just go around cheating and cheating. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not playing a game. I won. I won. <laughs> you did not win. You cheated. No, I did Please. <laughs> I But you know, Dr. Robert is hot shell. This vision was the one in a wheelchair and leaving here with him. You know, you're so disgusting. Honestly. Don't tell me you have not noticed. Noticed what? I don't look at him in that light. Me, I look cool. I was here, I would have jumped him since. Mm. 
Um, you know what? There's something somewhere there. Could you help me pick it up? I didn't want to get everybody's hopes high. I just wanted to be sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, please, can you? Can you sit for a while? senses who want to hurt you or even leave you. Robert, I have two children and most parts of my body have gone south. I've been through much more stress than you could ever imagine. Tess, you have an alien beauty. All that stress in childbirth and you edify it. You're very handsome. I have working. Rich. Why are you still single? Oh, God. <laughs> Believe me. If I fall in love with a girl today, I'll marry her tomorrow. I'm such a sucker for her. Falling in love could not be that hard, could it? Trust me. Um, no, 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 Lizzie, come in. Okay. What? The sky? You see me? You're welcome. What was that about? What? What was what? That. We were just talking. Mm, talking. <laughs> I 
I hear you. Anyways, Mama is so upset that she can't see you. She was almost in tears as I was leaving the house. I'm not ready to face them yet. What about your children? Don't you think they deserve to see you? I miss them. I miss them so much. I would really want to see them. Yes. Yes. You have to forgive Mama and Papa. God has given you a great miracle. And you cannot celebrate that by keeping your family at arm's length. in my own world without my own walls. Tess. Tess, I've told you before. You need to break down those walls. You need to... You need to forget about the past and stop living again. <laughs> Talk. <clears throat> to... You don't have an idea what I've been through. And you will never know what I have been through in this life. Uh, but wait, wait a minute. What is even there to understand? Huh? The fact that... Thank 
start making plans for the baby. What plans do you have in mind? Yeah. I need to start buying things for my baby and then register with a very good hospital for my antenatal. Okay. Um, why can't you just make a list of everything you want okay. and then I'll set it up? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're the best, Jenny. You are the best. You are the best. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, baby. I love you. I love you too, baby. I love you so much. Oh, no. No, I love you more. Oh, whatever, I love you more. <laughs> 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 uh, no, that's a turn on it, Dad. I'm going to start up fresh. Oh, thank you. I'm ready. You're, you're always ready. Oh. You guys from Chroma here? Yes, sir. Please send them here right away. Okay. okay, please. Sir, should I still call Mr. Liu? No, no, forget that Liu. Send this gentleman in. Okay, okay. Sir. Please hold all my calls. Alright, sir. Okay. Um, so you have the documentations, right? Yes. In fact, I'm packaging documents necessary for you to go to the embassy with. I'm assuring you. They will not fail to give you the visa. And if you fail? They will not fail. This is not the first time we're handling this, ma'am. Our company is a very reputable one. <laughs> it's always the first time for everything. And if it goes wrong, do I get my money back? <laughs> you will get the visa. Yeah. But eventually otherwise happens, we have credible lawyers who will handle your appeal. But it won't be the case. Well, I hope not, because the money you're charging me is small, <laughs> and I really need those documents. Ma'am, you have a word on this. Promise who feel is our middle name. You will get a visa. Okay, um, you come with me to the bank, you catch the money, and then you go do your thing, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, ma <laughs> Where is Renny now? Where is that girl? Honestly, I'm not going to buy any tree. When I finish this one, honestly, chill out. Let me flash her. Let you me better do. Where she is you better do. Her. Let me call. Oh, there she is. Hi, girl. <laughs> hey, honey. I'm begging. What's up? What's up with the crowd? You're not serious, Renny. You know we've been waiting for you over 45 minutes here. Oh, Abba. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm 
So for your mind, you think so you be God, Abby? I don't know. That's your way. I'm sorry. You always late, man. You have to. So what do you girls drink? Chapman. Chapman. Hmm. Why? I think I'm in the mood for Chapman. Please, waiter. Get us gin and tonic, please. Ah, 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 baby. Do you want to drink alcohol with baby? Are you sure there's something in that tummy at all? <laughs> Bele ko. Start po me. No, no, give me Bele. <laughs> Babe, yeah? I don't bother your style. So <laughs> when you turn, you turn Joshua to Nugu, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, you are here by not article. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't article. We can drag a live Joshua into this setting, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you girls really think I have time for love? After what that stupid thing you did to me. No. <laughs> no time for love mm. at all. My dear, but you girls know that that's my policy. Mm-hmm. I don't have time for all this yeah, 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 love. I surround myself with paymaster. Mm-hmm. And they must pay. Mm-hmm. Because my policy is for... Point, kill, and, and divide. divide. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Where is this waiter now? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ray, I heard Joshua's wife is now crippled. That woman is so articled. She's even crazy now. I heard that she's now in a room. <laughs> Do you know that she actually wanted to leave her husband, uh-huh. Joshua? Serenity. You know she wanted to leave. Eventually she did. So, hey, don't be sure they can't dump now. I hate it when women put their life on hold just because of their husband. How many things go wrong? They cry wolf. You know, ah, why bother go to school if you, you just want to pass wife or baby fat you? Mm. Anyways, I'm going to stay here for now. <laughs> She's not a destitute without him. Hello, my game. Hey. Exactly. Oh, oh. She is anything I want. <laughs> That's a game, love a game. Reality I bring comes crashing like a train. Love a glass. <laughs> That's a game, love a game. Reality I bring comes crashing like a train. Love it lasts. Oh, I shine. I've been a product of pain, been to me like so vain. The promises you make so vain. Never want to doubt your love. Love is all. When I want. Oh, 
You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I need you to. It's my own little love, Celine. Thank you for all your kindness. You are an amazing woman. And I appreciate it. But, don't do it again. I don't want to go stressing you. Thank you. Tickled or what? Why don't I ever get to meet guys that are this easy? Why? They won't find anything they do you, babe. I swear you get luck. Which luck? Eh? Which year, year stupid luck is that one? Eh? Have you girls forgotten how I dedicated six years of my life, my very beautiful mm. life, to that bastard called to me? What does he do? Dumps me for another girl. Is that luck? Please. <laughs> so why is a jerk? Oh, thank you, Ify. You took the words out of my mouth. Please. Oh, I bet you. So you regret his actions. And I, Renny, we help him regret it. Ha! I will go to his domot in America. Bring him back here. I'll interest you. Mm, yes, girl. What will you do? <laughs> what will you do? But Akpata, you will cause problem in his new relationship and still be articled. Oh. Article what? It's me, Renny. Eh? Let me run you. I will make sure they depart his black, miserable house back to Nigeria. Mm. Mm. Now, we hear my story now. Now, run you. Babe, let me tell you something. Now. Forget Tony or whatever you call his name. Mm. Face this guy, Joshua, make him give you dough, make you come on in life. Shut up! What? Ibiza, why did they bring this if he come to my house? 
Why you bring her come my house? She will not be talking again. I said, Tony, you will regret it. Eh? I will help him regret it. Three abortions. Ah, six years and dump me rotten potato. Like, like, he must regret it. Eh? You will hear the story. No, they bring this girl come my house again. Eh? Mm. I beg, I beg. I beg, I beg. I beg, I finish my drink. Mm. I don't want to finish out. Look at that drink, they go. Rubbish. Wait, what? Why is that noise? Ah, cold down. Okay now. Wait, uh, I don't want you. No, they bring this if you're she to the door me. No, they bring her come my house. Come eh? Wait, Why she even they behave like this herself? Eating well? Of course I am. Why do you ask? Well, you don't look like you're putting on any baby fat, you know, or something. <laughs> Are you saying every pregnant woman must be fat? No, I'm not saying that, okay? But, you know, when Tess was pregnant, she. <laughs> oh, please. Don't ever, I mean, ever compare me to that crazy wife of yours, okay? Really? What? Come on. What's up with the anger? Come on. Please, 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 please. Oh, are you insinuating anything? Renny, insinuating what? Renny, okay, Renny, come, come. Please, don't do that. Please. Oh, okay, what? come, come. Sit down. Look, okay, I know that when women are pregnant, they are easily irritated. Okay? Well, I mean, what did I just say to piss you off? You want me to be fat and ugly, eh? So that you go out there and start picking other girls, Abby? Oh, no, baby. I don't want you to be fat and ugly. 
come on, I definitely don't have any intentions of running after any other woman. Are you sure? I am sure. Look, I love you. I love you with all my heart. Okay? I'm just concerned. I just want to make sure you're okay and the baby is fine. But you know it's my first pregnancy. You don't expect my stomach to bulge out just like that. I know, baby. I'm sorry. Hmm? Can I make it up to you? Hmm? Hmm. Mm. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs, brother. Come, let's go upstairs. Mm. I can't wait. Mm. Yeah. That's my baby. What will I do without you? Nothing. <laughs> uh, I love you. You'll get this better true true. <laughs> Can I send you? Back to send in fact. Go for big button. Yeah, but anyways. Actually, Yawa don't go so. Can you walk? I suppose get better, she be. You get better. What's in the show? And Joshi, don't they ask questions? Seriously. Yawa won't go so. Hmm. You are be when your interview dates be with this embassy people self? Embassy self? In two months. Wow. That's not fair. Wait, so the visa guy. Can't you tell him to, you know, fast track it? This could lead to our typical cost audio. Hey, Jake. I can't let that happen. Eh? I haven't really thought about that, but. I will call him. You better do uh, that fast. Before the end of this month, you have to leave this country. Because I'll get bored for children. I'll not be shouts. Yeah, and I'll let that happen. I'll call him. You better Please do. You. Anyways, Joshua is upstairs, so let's change chests. Okay. So, what can I offer you, girls? You're my friend, right, baby? Oh, no, no, no. I'm taking your system around. Good, you go, girl. Still my time, babe. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let me get you girls something. You probably yeah, something like with. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh. <laughs> Did Mama call you? Ah, yes, so she called me. Okay. She asked me when I was going to come back home, and I told her so. <laughs> There's something I'd love to tell you. You've been saying this since you came. <laughs> what is it? Tell me now. Don't tell her. I won't. I promise you will ask her. Okay, I, I promise I won't ask her. Just tell me. Mama said that Robert is very handsome. You and him are. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. That, that's a lie. She didn't say that. Come on. Did she say that? Yes. <laughs> Papa has been calling her broken. Of course, that's what she is now. Come, Come to think of it. Are you and Robert? Um... <clears throat> no. Jeez. What, are you crazy? What's crazy about that? He's a very handsome guy to start with. And he's very rich. He... He actually said that he's very attracted to... Are you serious? He did? I won't lie to you, listen. I feel something very strong for him to. As a person, I'll ask you to go for it. Maybe it's just God's way of giving another chance at love. But then, let's be a bit done. <coughs> See, she thinks so. Serve to be happy. 
get up. My son. Now spirit was for the love. You might find it. Yeah, you can find it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dad. Oh, oh my God, Dad. You are looking great, too. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, Dad, but the holidays and rest really did you a whole lot of good. I stopped to the doctor's advice. Ah. For once. Oh, oh yes, for once. <laughs> hey. Hi, Robert. Hi, Sunny. How are you? I'm fine, Mom. Good evening. Ah, now, Robert, have you been here for long? No, ah, I just, just came in. Good. And uh, would you be staying over for dinner or we are rushing home to your guest? Mom, you had to bring that up, didn't you? No, 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 no. Look, it was just an innocent question. Are you staying over for dinner or you know? Yes, ma'am. Good. Then I'll tell the cook, okay? Should I be worried? I know I have fallen for Robert. I can't hide it anymore. His care, respect, gentility. Yesterday night you left the house, not too bright. I hope all is well. Yeah, that that um, all is well. All right. So how is work at the hospital? Oh, that work is hectic. Yeah, because right now we don't have enough doctors available, so most times I have to do double duty. So from the looks of things, you don't have an intention of quitting. I have been through this a couple of times. I have been through this several times. That, that I love what I do. I do. I know you love what you do. But what I'm saying is that you can set up your own institution and run it at your own pace. Look, that if every doctor sets up the private practice, what about the government-owned hospitals? Who work there? Well, you have a point. But still, my quarrel is the fact that. This one does not give you time to look into the affairs of your family company. Yes. Look, Dad, the company is being run by competent heads. Right? Look, the father I know will not build a company from scratch. And, you know, give it all to Idiot Serrano, would you, Dad? No. Of course not. No, not at all. Not at all. But that does not prevent you from playing an active role in overseeing what is going on in the company. So now that you know it, I will retire as being the CEO. And you are the one I'm going to hand over to. You can Think about it. That's the game, love the game. Reality I bring comes crashing like a train. Love at last. Oh, my God. Yeah, honey. I'm ready to go. I'll miss you already. <laughs> I'll miss you too. I'll call you when I get to the office, okay? Alright. Great. Thank you, you look good. I do? Yeah, you do. Oh, for you. <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? Alright, bye love. Bye. Have a nice day. You too, baby. I love you. Love you more. Fine, fine, I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be there by 8 o'clock, Shaq. Alright, bye. Just 
We should meet here by eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. I've been here three times and this is nine. No. Uh, please, I'm so sorry. I had to go get some documents from someone. Please. Anyways, that aside, that aside, any luck on the fast track on my interview dates? Yes. In fact, we can arrange an, um, an interview for you in two weeks. Okay. But uh, it will cost you. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Man, I need to, to do this fast. Time is running out. Seriously. I think time is running out of me. So what do you suggest? Um, if you have time, we can get to my office so that uh, you get to talk with my lawyers and cross a few T's and other few I's. All right, no problem, no problem. Let's let's go. Let's be here. Okay. okay. Use your seatbelt. Please, I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's so okay. sorry. ready for tomorrow's meeting. I have informed Robert to be there. Well, that is good. At least you can fully rest now and uh, have to go to the office just maybe once in a month. Well, much as I would have loved to continue working, I have to heed my doctor's advice. But I know the company will thrive in my absence. I know that. That is good. Yeah. But, uh, Chief, mm. don't you think uh, trusting the responsibility of the CEO on robot is rather dicey? Because he has said several times that he's not ready to take up the, uh, the position. He has no choice. If I keep negotiating with him, he won't take the reins. But when I shove the responsibility on him, he will do it. I know my son. He will do it. No <laughs> mm, point there. Well, maybe with this uh, new responsibility, you'll be ready to settle down. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get involved in Robert's private life. He will get married when he chooses to. Look, 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 look uh, uh, Chief, you have to be involved. You have no choice rather than to be involved because he is your son. I, I, I mean, look at Robert. Most of his friends are married. Some even have kids already. A lot have, 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 have so many children. And here you are saying you don't want to be involved in your, your, your son's uh, problems or matter. He's not taking any uh, 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 relationship serious. That is the reason why I'm saying you have to be involved, you have to talk to him, so that he will be serious with his, his relationships. Let Robert be, woman. Let Robert be. 
When he finds a better person, he will let us. He has found one. Robert has found one already. Only he's refusing to take any relationship serious. There's a girl already in his life. He's not just serious. You, it, it, seems, it seems you don't know the kind of person your, your son is. Woman. Look, oh, Chief, you man. don't. Let my son be. Reserve this energy of yours for that daughter of yours. Look, look, but, but, but the case with Robert is it, it, more important at this I, moment. I, I, I'm going to the study. Look, but, but, look, Chief. Let, 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 let's just finish this talk. You, you can't work out like that. Where are you going at this time? It's barely morning. Um, for a church program. Church program at this time? Where? Um, baby, it's actually supposed to start at 6. But I want to go early so I can get the front seat. Today's the last day. I don't want to miss it. What church is this? The business church is near the camp. Baby, how come you never mentioned? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you are all welcome to this short meeting. I will not take much of your time. As you all are aware, due to my health condition, the advice doctors, I will be taking a back step from my first company. I will only be operating on the capacity of the chair. I have informed my lawyers today I want to make it official. The company now has a new CEO. He's my son, Robert. In the same thing, we now have managing director, she's my daughter, Desi, we catch us. She will be coming to the office every day to oversee things and report to the CEO. I think that is all for now. If there are other developments, Come in. Really crazy, really crazy, really crazy, really crazy girls. <laughs> yeah, I want to propose it to you. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. 
to Rainy and her genius mind. No, 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 no. To Rainy and her evil genius mind. <laughs> and older. And to the beginning of my revenge plot on Tonya. <laughs> Cheers, girls. Ooh, Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute, Rainy. Okay. How did you get to leave the house for the embassy without arousing Joshua's suspicious? Honey, that's easy. I told him I was attending a special church service at your church mm-hmm. near the camp. See, easy. When you a bad girl, when you a bad girl, I knew that. Always really? been and always will be. Are you picking up your visa? On Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and when are you leaving the country, my dearest? I'll purchase my ticket as soon as I get my passport from the embassy, and then oh. there I'm gone. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but happy to miss you, girls, anyways. Oh, oh Josh. Oh, you got to run my when you leave here. Did you have to bring this name up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Please, as it is, I am barely tolerating him. Please, <laughs> whatever. Wait, Trini. Joshua will search for you. And then, article you. Mm-hmm. Not only article you. I'm going to jeopardize you in this country. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm ready. He won't find me. And even if he does, I don't know him. I'll deny him. I fit and shout, man. I don't know him. Well, <laughs> cheers to good life. Okay. And all the beautiful things that come with it. And, mm-hmm. and to me, Renny, the girl in chat. Uh-uh, Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> good wine. This is so good. <laughs> we have to play your card. <laughs> What do you mean by we're all in this together? What does that mean? No, you told me that the contractors had already hit the set. Say again? That I should have gone to inspect? You're kidding me. Are you not the ones handling the contract? Oh, okay, so now I have to get the funds and then I have to execute the contract by myself. Man, you guys are all jokers. Man, what's wrong with these guys? Oh, shit, God. I have to give you a job, then I have to go and run the job myself. You must be kidding me. Investment is under EFCC Searchlight, and my company has been linked to it for several failed deals. Have you called your lawyers and told them about it? Yeah, I went to see him. Gosh, it's not looking good at all. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Um, Shit, this guy's from Chrome, Abdul and Kojo. Damn, you think people know what they're doing? You think they know what they're doing? That's the game. What? Yeah. You know, I, I think you can do this. Yes, you can. I mean, you can schedule your um, hospital appointments for weekends, and then one of your father's company during the week. No. I don't want to work on weekends. And it's, it's, it's the only time I have to be with you. 
it's quite sweet. In the meantime, you can... Well, I've scheduled a meeting with the medical director of the institution. I think we both have to sit down and find a way to work up with this new development. Not like it's going to be easy enough. You know, you, you just have this. You have very unique qualities. You know, you're so devoted to your patients, your profession. It, it's, it's really amazing. I guess that's enough reason for you to know. Can I ask you this? Do you really know? No, you ask me. into this mess. Okay, what are you proposing, darling? Okay, so, um, I propose you move the bulk of the money into the account of one of your friends, I mean, your trusted friend, and then let him in and he will check it to us. To your lawyers, probably. Okay. okay, that sounds like a plan. But why didn't I move it into your account instead? Me? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, you're my darling. Look, this will do, okay? Tomorrow I'll write you a check. So you can withdraw all the money and deposit in your account.
relax, calm down, everything will be in place. Okay. As good as you do. Well, as I was saying, I told the fool that if one millionaire does not keep my account by Friday, he should lose my number and not take on himself. <laughs> I trust you. I trust you, my dear. But if he's not ready to spend the money, that better, better spenders come around now, Abby. Yes, so uh -huh. I don't have time to do love and marry me. He said, I won't go out, bro. Abby, I know rich. <laughs> You're rich, you're rich, I beg you're rich. Let me get us a drink, okay? I will get us a drink. <laughs> Darling! Yeah, Who's drinking in this house? Mm -hmm. Don't you think that Joshua might just walk in unexpectedly? Do you want to get her tickled? My dear, see, I don't care. In two weeks, Joshua will be here straight and celebrating my freedom from now, honey. He's always Wash away. Yeah, hello. Yeah, this is Renny. What? Where? How? Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I know the place. I know the place over there. Oh my god, okay, I will be there over there. EFCC custody. <laughs> EFCC. What did he do? Business gone bad as usual. Are you not going to see him? That's my own. Yeah? What is my business? Habareni. No matter what. Mm -hmm. You need to go and see him. You have to go and see him. Yes, ma. I would go. But I have to have a drink first. You care for some? My name is Renny. Ah, My name is Renny, baby. You will never My name is Renny. <laughs> That's a game, love a game. Reality I bring comes crashing like a train. Oh my god. <laughs> baby. <laughs>
me enough I'm the earth travels with me Just like a curtain burst to the butterfly Your fate in me sees me through All of challenges of this life Um, no, um, Robert has gone to work. But his number is not going through. Uh, would you want to wait for him? He'll be back soon. No, I'm going. But just tell him that he's walking around to look for him. You like what you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like very much. You look tired. Why don't you go in and let me prepare you something to eat while you're fresh? Oh, well, I would have, uh, I would have. Obviously, yes, you were not. Look, Tiwa, this is disrespectful. Right? You should have at least called me. I serve you to robots. Listen. There's nothing to explain. She's your girlfriend. Guilt. What guilt? Look, Tiwa is not my girl. You're lying. I'm not lying. She's not my girlfriend. Fine, um, I admit we've done stuff, but look, my mom is just trying to put us back. You know, bring us together, but I've told her I'm not interested. Ah. By that you mean that you've slept with her? I mean, I mean well, yes, but that was before you and I got close. <laughs> You 
didn't plan to take me to my parents this weekend. So you get to meet them. And they meet you as well. Really? Yes. I want them to meet the woman that completes me. Officially, I'm still married to Joshua. I told the divorce papers. He treats me into signing. That renders the whole thing noid and void, right? That means I still have to face it. I mean, if I have to get a fresh start, then I have to face it and sort this out. some kind of imposition. No, it's not. I'm just curious to know what's going on between both of you. From the discussion we had last, you said she's married. Yes, she is married. She's a... Tess, would you be so kind as to allow me to speak with my son? Mom, I already know what you want to say. And you can't be thinking of marrying her. I am dead serious, mother. You will not marry her because I will never allow you to marry her. <laughs> Robert, I'm serious. This is no laughing matter. It's not funny. I'm telling you, it's not funny. You will not allow me to marry her. Okay, fine. But let me remind you, mother that I'm an adult, and that means that you do not choose my wife for me. But I'm supposed to be guiding you down the right path. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I can find my path myself. Robo, just listen to yourself. Hear yourself speak. Look, I will not allow you to marry her. I will not allow you to turn me into a laughing stock in the society. Imagine yourself getting married to someone who has two kids already. Someone who has a history of mental disorder. And to crown it all, someone who is physically disabled and deformed. Ah, mother, no. I will not allow that. She is not disabled. She's challenged. She is. No, she is challenged. She is mother, deformed. Mother, the world is not deformed. I she know she is deformed. This discussion is over. Chief, he can choose whoever he wants to. I don't really care. It was not necessarily Bitiwa. Any other person would do for me, but not that girl. And I won't allow him to marry to that girl. I won't allow him to marry her. Well, but 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 he says he loves her, right? That's love. what he said. Love. Yes. Which love? Chief, that love will wipe off Robert's face. Because he cannot afford to marry a former mental patient. Okay. Outside the fact that she had mental illness. What else do you know about her? Fine, Chief. Listen, she's married legally. I mean, legally married. On the line, legally married. And she has two kids. She's not from a good home. She's ill-mannered 
from a bad home. Everything is so, 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 so wrong. All right. Everything about All this for one person? Hey, Mom. Good afternoon, Dad. <laughs> Mom. Dad, I just want to state this here and now. I hate working. I hate it. I have to wake up very early in the morning and attend to meetings and stuff. I don't even know what I'm doing there. See, Mom, Dad, I'm not caught up with this. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not. I don't want it anymore. Woman, are you listening to your daughter? You see, this is the kind of issue you are supposed to be treated in. And not who robot is dating. No, Chief. Her case is a minor one. Let's put that aside. We settled that later. Huh? But Robert's case is very serious. It's what we have to attend to seriously. And now, because it's a very delicate issue, it's what parents should really sit down and iron out. Because I will not allow my son to marry that girl and she has to, to, to get out of my son's life. Finally, I don't want to ever see her near my son. Mom, what's Robert saying? Is he denying that no job he kept in his house? You see? Okay, all right. You know what is going to happen? Invite them over. I want to see that lady and evaluate her myself. No, Chief. She's not coming to my house. I'm not inviting her over. She's not coming into my house for any reason. She is not coming and I'm not... Oh. oh. All right. I invite them over for dinner. Better. This half is house I just bought, you know, and make it. Maybe we have to sell that. Yeah, now you're thinking. You just have to let go of some of those properties and uh, probably trade some of those cars just, just to buy yourself out for a while. And remember, you know, you can't make money when you're frustrated. The sooner we come to the agreement to these people, the sooner you get out of here. Just take it easy yourself. Don't do hard on yourself. Everything is going as planned. Is that okay? Why? I don't like calling you. I don't want to stress your poetry. Sure. 
of cold. You see it. Get on my feet, Marcus. Easy, easy, easy. 
Jesus. Okay. Alright. I got the phone just now. Alright. Okay. Just go. You want to take a deep breath again? One more. Ooh. Okay. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Well, my dear, it's nice meeting you. You are a lady of few words. Oh. Well, sir, I'm sorry if that offends you. No, 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 no. Not at all, not at all. I, I respect people's way of life. But I, 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 I hope you don't mind me asking what you do. I suffered from a traumatic depression and as such I found myself in a mental institution. If that's what makes me a nice job like you fondly call me, I guess I deserve it. But uh, you're still legally married, aren't you? Yes ma'am, I am. But as we speak, my divorce proceedings is on. Mm. Mm. Uh, that's that, 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 that's right, that's right. Uh, my dear, please uh, pardon our many questions, okay? We are a cool of slums, okay? It's nothing, sir. You're welcome.
love again Reality I bring comes crashing like a train Love at last Oh, I'll shine I've been a product of pain Gain to me like so vain The promises you made so vague Never want to doubt your love But love it all down When a world like Kuroni let me Becomes Joko si let me Oh, me me Lara Turns to me Lara Baby, can't you see I would buy it any more day When you smile, you give me light When you speak, you give me life When you leave, you give me joy Out of the circle of time to the circle of joy I hope to say no begin That you wanna play me If I say yes Say oh yes Say yes! 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 Did Remy pack things out of his house? She packed her things for When? Uh, yes, yes. She said she never put her in this house. So she don't have questions. But she said if you come back, she will come. She's not coming back! Then he's not coming back. This is what happened. Okay. Is serious. He really loves me. I've come to meet his parents. It took me there. And how did his parents react to what they said? Well, the mother is. Um, the mother and the sister are not very welcoming, but the father is pretty much very nice. I like robots, and I wish both of you end up together. But I hope this will not turn out disastrous. My daughter, please, you have to be very, very careful. Yes. Please. Yes. Be very, very careful. You, you know this, uh, this very rich people. They can complete so much. Have anything to do with you? With robots, they have found a whole new confidence. No matter how much his mother loses, he will not be. What, uh, what, uh, what about Joshua? Eh? What about him? What about Joshua? Wasn't he the one that came and said he doesn't want to marry her again? That she will stab him to death in his sleep? Yes, he said. Uh -huh. but not, not divorced legally. Papa, 
Robert, Robert, go to lawyer that will help me draw up the divorce papers. Good. Are you personally taking the divorce papers to notice? I beg, do it, my dear. And fast. After all, he's of no use. He abandoned his children. Mm -hmm. If not for Dr. Robert, that sends money to Lizzie for their upkeep. How do we go? How? I beg, you can get me my present job. Mama, your present is there. Uh -huh. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's forget about Joshua. I'm sure Joshua will get exactly what he deserves. Definitely. He must. I don't like that lady your brother is dating. And your father seems not to, to see any problem with that. Mom, she seemed kind and nice, but trust me, that doesn't fool me. She's catalyzing on Robert's pity to ensnare him. My thoughts, exactly. Well, I should have spoken to Robert about it, but I don't want to have anything to do with Ross's personal affair anymore. What do you mean by that? Oh, seriously, you have to. We have to stage an intervention. We cannot allow this relationship to blossom. Do you hear me? Tomorrow, both of us are going to Robert's house to speak to her, maybe woman to woman, or preferably, if need be, you offer her money to just disappear out of my son's life. Mom, I'm sorry, but I can't go with you. I have my manicure and pedicure appointment tomorrow. Besides, I've got work. Hey, 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 just hold it there. What do you mean by work and manicure and pedicure? Okay, work to do. Look, we have to be there. This is a family emergency, and you have to be there with me tomorrow. Period. What must I do? Hey, 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 don't butt me. Don't butt me. Daisy! Thank you. I'm giving you a hug. You know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I, I actually thought I would have a meltdown when I eventually met with him, but yeah. I didn't. Was he surprised to see you walking? Of course he was. He was even more shocked. But I told him I wanted a divorce. He started ranting and yelling and... <sighs> well, I can understand why he would do that. And you are the last person he expected to see. And asking him for a divorce would like a big, big no to his name. Honestly, Joshua is... He was a big mess when I saw him. I have this feeling that he's in some serious trouble. Just, I feel sorry for you. I thought you would like living with someone else. There wasn't any trace of a woman in that house. You mean, I no trace of a woman?
You look very tired. Why don't you just go in and freshen up while I fix you something? Um. I want to see my family. What family? The same family you abandoned for months? You have the balls to show your face here, eh? Lizzie, I did not abandon my family, okay? I, ju I just had issues. I was spiritually challenged. You must be a madman. Lizzie. Take your spirituality and get out of this compound. Lizzie, please. I want to see my wife and my kids. Okay, you're not here when I said you should get out then. Eh? Did you not hear when I said you should get out? One wait. Mama! Lizzie. Mama! What? Mama! Oh. What? Oh. Joshua, what do you want? Good morning, ma. Bad morning to you. What do you want? He wants to see his wife and his children. Eh? Hey! Which wife? The wife you almost killed? Or the children you abandoned? Mama, please. Pa! Who is the mother? Joshua, I supported you over my daughter. Oh, how stupid I was. I begged you not to severe ties with us, but you refused. Now you want the back, Abby? You want the back, Abby? Joshua! Mama, you don't understand. You don't understand. Please, look. 
I, I, I just had a lot of issues. I, I was under some kind of spiritual manipulation. God punished that your mouth. It is not only spiritual. It is also chemical. Now, get out of this compound before I open my eyes. Get out! Ma, don't mind him. I heard he was arrested by the EFCC and jailed for some days. That, that, that's not true. That's not true. I was not jailed. Look, I, I was only remanded in, in custody. As I was saying, he was arrested, he was jailed, and his girlfriend ran away and abandoned him. <laughs> hey! Joshua, so, because your new girlfriend left you, that is why you decided to come back, eh? Joshua! Mama, it's not like Wait, that. It's not like that. That's not true. Why Don't believe me? that. That's not true. What's wrong with you, Lizzie? My sister does not want you anymore in her life. She has found someone better than you. He is more handsome, far richer, and a million times nicer than you. Lizzie, your sister is still legally married to me. Okay, I forgot to tell you. Your children love him to death. Look, no man can take away my family. No man can take my wife, nor my kids. They are mine. They belong to me. Mama, stop now. Mama, I just want to see my family. Sit down. I said sit. So you're welcome. And I'm sorry, Mama. Robert is not at home. He's going to work. I know. I'm not here to say Robert. I'm here for you. And uh, I don't want you to be there in the bush. So, you guys, are you deaf? Are you done? How much is it going to cost you to disappear from my brother's side? Please, my dear, do hurry up. I want us to get this over with. Huh? Well, uh, yeah, it's an open check. Just write any, any amount of money you want, okay? Now, I will leave your son's house. But what your son and I share is the fine. Therefore, there is no amount of money that can buy that. Oh, please. Hey, also, this has one last question. You know what? Just because I am here in your brother's house and not having been running around to clean my ass does not mean that I do not have my self respect and dignity intact. You have this mentally unstable cause and crush. You know, I may be an unstable utter trash. But what I also am is the fact that I am an amazing mother. I am an adorable sister, a lovable daughter, and a passionate lover. All of the streets she can never have in such slutty attitude. So busy. Hi. 
So how are you? How have you been? I'm hanging in there. How have you heard from Rainy? That bitch. That bitch emptied my bank account and took off with it. You know, she just played me for the fool that I am. But guess what? Renny had better continue running. She needs to just keep running forever. Because if I ever set my eyes on her, it... That's okay. I can't believe Renny will pull off a trick like this. I mean, everything just seems to be going down the drain. Everything is going down. Look, I'm really very sorry for everything that happened to you. It's too much loot for one man to bear. Do you know the worst part of this? I finally realized that I really, really maltreated my wife. You know, I just let my gut down and allowed myself to be misled. <laughs> See, I, I, you know, I always wanted to say something, but see, Rennie has always been a schemer. That's the reason why her ex-boyfriend dumped her. I wanted to say something to you, but you know, you guys were so in love. I didn't want to know Hala. Sorry, say I disturb you. You see, um, Auntie Tess, say me I told you before. No prison will get out of my house. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, Auntie Tess said I should tell you that she has gone to her parents' place. Okay, well. Um, she been leave. Sorry, so I do mistake. Sorry, she left immediately after your mother and sister left. My mother and my sister were here? Yes, sir. They came. They were here, sir. Yes. Oh, all right. Hello? Yeah, yeah, test. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm fine. I just got back and I learned you, you left. Right? My, my mother and my sister were here. Is that why you left? Mm -hmm.
chest. I'm really sorry about what happened. I'm truly sorry. It's okay. Like, you don't have to go on apologizing. It's expected. It's not okay. My, my parents... I mean, I've always done everything my parents wanted. I don't womanize. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I'm not a scandalous person. I don't understand why my mom will not respect my wishes and allow me to have the woman I want. I don't know. It's all right. You wouldn't expect me to still live with you indefinitely, would you? I would still come back home, you know? So it's all good. I just hate that my mom thinks she can buy anyone off just to have our way. We mothers are like that. I can tell you that. You are not like that, are you? Why don't you just wait and allow Melody to grow up to the age of deity? And then you'll find out how motherly I could be. Not just Melody. Also the two boys. Two strong boys you will give me. Uh, anyway, I am deeply sorry. Apologies accepted. Okay. Okay? Alright. Um, I need to get you something to drink. Uh, but, but don't, don't, don't worry, I'll be stressing you. Uh, just... I don't worry, I can manage. I've got this. Sure.
Do you not love me enough to take me away from that pain? You don't? <laughs> I love you enough to let go. Yes. Could you be stupid? Wicked and selfish of me to try to take another man's wife. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just spoke to Robo's secretary at the office and he said she just purchased tickets for Robo to travel in two weeks. Chief, you're not saying anything. What do you want me to do? Talk to him now. Why don't you speak to him? He's your son, isn't he? He's refusing to speak to me. Moreover, he refuses to pick my calls. Well, that's what happens when you begin to play God in the life of your child. But I wasn't playing God. I was only doing what a caring mother would do. Listen, woman, Robert is not stupid. If there is anything suspicious about the life of that lady, he will find out and deal with it. By, by meddling into his affairs, you are just trying to tell him that he's incapable of making decisions for himself. Oh. You really have, and I'm glad you know that. You know what you're going to do? Go and apologize to him and embrace his choice of love. That is, if you do not want to lose that son of yours forever. And the thing you did you do here, and you tell me you're sorry? Why did I forgive you? Just stay away from me. Stay away from me. Okay? Stay away from me. You hear me? Leave me alone. Let me live my life by myself. Don't touch me. Don't you so close to me and leave my life alone.
voices in my ear. On the ocean, Versace is my voice. And as the sun folds me in love, I never travels with me. Just like a curtain breaks to the butterfly, you're fading me. All of challenges of this life Bringing the best that in me The element of your love Fills my heart And anywhere I go You go with me Here is the deepest secret no one knows Here is the roots of roots and blood of us Sweet, you know, love at flood to speak You are my king, my strength, my love, my hero You are my world, joy, my soulmate With you, I fear no pain Remember, our love is the urge of the world.